Welcome ladies and gentlemen, grab your favorite soft drink and snack. This is going to be a long video. I own a Terra Structures and Wreckage on Mars. This is a follow up to my previous video in which I showed you these two what appear to be crashed saucers and we're going to be looking at the other anomalies and artifacts littering the terrain in the vicinity of these two objects. RS photograph integrated planes and I'll include the link below acquired on the 4th of November 2016 and I'm showing you images cropped from a JP2 black and white map projected file this is a look at the low res JPEG and on Google Mars you'll find this terrain located at approximately 61 degrees south and 117 degrees west so at the time of this video the high-rise photograph and the CTX had not been loaded so we'll check that out towards the end of the video so the first geometric and symmetrical object is that one right there in the center of the screen about 18 meters long and about 12 meters wide so let's zoom in on that one we've got this partial rectangular object sticking out of the sand this might even be a piece of it on this side yeah but check out the symmetry in this design yeah in the center we've got what seems to be like a little dome and then on either side we've got two identical indentations so rather symmetrical so is this a piece that uh, is bent down and then comes up in that arc or is that maybe a second piece another really strange shape this one's about 15 meters across and about 18 meters tall we zoom in on that we can see some crazy shapes over here get the arcs and rounded corners and then on top we've got what looks like a dome and then on that side that might be a hole that's covered with some dust and sand and this here looks like it could be the top of an entranceway also it looks as if uh, this is raised off the Martian surface possibly there's an entrance on this right hand side as well next anomaly we'll say in the center of the screen this one's about 16 to 18 meters across and 10 meters wide so let's zoom in on that on this one side in the center we've got a dome and then on the right what seems to be a part that maybe this is a, an opening in the shape of an arc over here also looks as if this is a, raised off the surface on this side could that be another one of these hatches or entranceways or habitats check out that anomaly there that's about six meters across so let's zoom in on that it's another one of these hexagonal shapes with a dome right there in the center not sure if that's a, a craft like a saucer with a dome on top and then this rather strange object there not to mention these others we'll take a look at those a bit later but check out this one that's about 14 meters across and about 10 meters wide if we zoom in on this one side we can see a sphere let's see that's about three meters in diameter and then this v-shape so some symmetry 
to that there. I don't know what that could be. It doesn't look like a typical boulder, rock, swamp gas, planet Venus, lobate crater ejector, boulder, rock. Definitely looks as if there's some design in that. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And then this rather strange collection of objects. Okay, that's about 16 meters tall, about 12 meters wide. And uh, in the center of this rather strange looking shape, could this be a metal plate? We've got these uh, weird parts. There's a circular object right there with a little dome on the top. There's a V shape. And then uh, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like that could be a hole. Another one of these strange objects, also huge. This thing's about. 13 meters across, about 14 or 15 meters that way, and uh, if we zoom in on it, you can see two equally sized objects on the center line, those look like it could be flattened domes. Another one of these also about the same size as all the others, 14 or 12 by 14 to 15 meters wide. And uh, another one of these flattened dome-like features or knobs. And then on the side, this area seems to be carved in. And then this looks like um, a megalithic structure. It's about 12 meters wide by about 8 meters that way. So this looks like um, a convex roof with two equally sized uh, objects placed underneath as if it's uh, used to raise this roof with possibly an entrance way here. This looks like um, a piece of metal plate, maybe a wing. Who knows what this is, but check it, this um, well-defined edge and the rounded corners. So this uh, object is also about 10 by 10 meters and we've got a little dome or sphere on top and this over here too looks rather artificial. Another one of these could be metal plates, 12 meters across, nicely defined edge and a right angle over there. Very smooth surface as well. Partially buried in the sand and dust. Another one of those. This one's about 10 meters across and about 4 meters wide. So a nice edge, rounded corner. One of these uh, wedge shapes again. And next to it we've got this rather strange rounded part. Check it the wedge over here. And in the center it looks like some uh, maybe glyphs or something over there. I don't know what this could be. 
got a perfectly rounded edge there. Another one of these wedge shapes. This one's about six meters long and uh, also almost perfect symmetry and geometry in this shape. With a dome like feature there in the center. Another one of these chevron shapes, similar to others I've shown in previous videos. This is about 5 meters by 5 meters. Check it the symmetry in this shape. Straight edges over here. And it's partially buried on this side. Partially covered in sand and dust. Another one of these, what looked like they could be wings or metal plate. This one's about 14 meters across. Also, we've got some symmetry in this shape. Get the two rounded sides and then this rounded arc over here. And could this be an entrance and this is the top of a hangar? Who knows? Check out these anomalies. I'm looking at these two next to one another. It's about eight meters across. And uh, what a strange diamond shaped port there in the center. And then yeah, we've got another one of these hexagonal shapes. Also partially covered in sand. And also yeah, it looks like a top of a V shape. Check at this wreckage. Now this is about 12 meters across, or about 5 meters wide, and uh, this looks like some type of machinery perhaps, maybe even a type of little factory. This rectangular opening on this side here, a little dome on this side, and then two smaller parts to the left through the center line and then on this side I don't know what that could be also looks rather strange and then this u-shaped object or structure it's about 10 meters on that side and 10 meters across on this side and here we've got a, a rectangular slot with what looks like a dome or a sphere in between uh, the two sides inside that opening well, let's check that uh, dome or sphere is about a meter and a half in diameter Got another one of these rectangular shapes about eight meters across and we've got two equally shaped and sized domes or knobs on that one. We're checking out this one which is about 8 meters across. An oblong dome-like feature or knob. Was that nice? edges and rounded corners. You got another rectangular block or structure here. This one's about six to eight meters across and it looks like there's something inside the opening of here. Check this out. This is about 10 meters across. 
and again is this uh, a structure or a craft and in the center got what it looks like a little dome another one of these disc shaped things this one's about 12 meters across with what looks like an opening over here in the center crashed craft little hatch the air vent I don't know what these things are but I've found tons of them already another square object there it's about 10 meters by 8 meters straight edges right angle there and what looks like a dome in the uh, center line there. It's maybe an opening on this right hand side. Another one of these chevron shapes. About 10 meters across. I check out the straight edges and rounded corner here and then more of these squares and next to them a circular object as shown in previous videos some layering over here is it 10 by 10 meters for this partially rounded piece next to this um, square check out this anomaly in the center this looks like an opening over there maybe this was the door that broke off is about the same size and then on top looks like a type of a pyramidal knob or feature or part so can this be a little habitat another one of these metal plates or wings well, this is about 12 meters across straight edges right angle on this side rounded corner here as well another one of these strange looking structures this one's about 10 meters across and it looks like this piece on the right might also be on the left but it's covered in sand and dust and then uh, these three equally spaced and sized features or domes running through that center definitely got an edge running through there and then this piece to it like a little winglet on the right so that dark spot might have been one of these sort of dome like features or parts. Check out these. It's about 10 meters across. And on the top, it looks like a diamond shaped feature or knob. Some symmetry in this uh, design and it looks like uh, this piece is uh, bent up casts a shadow over there as well rather odd shape maybe a metal plate it's been bent into that shape checking out this 
It's about 8 meters there on this side and about 6 meters on that side. About 10 meters across. But straight edges. Nice rounded corner there and almost 90 degrees. And uh, over there, got two small, look like little domes. Another one of these strange hatch type or habitat type structures. Right there in the center we've got a hole. And then on the side, yeah, a triangular bend or opening. Rather odd, but that's also right in the center of the larger object. You've got a diamond shaped flat smooth surface anomaly. What the heck could that be? And that there too is about, let's see, that's about 15 meters from top to bottom. It's straight edges. And the funny ridge line running through there, this could be like a con convex shape. Could this have been a, a type of a solar sail? Next to it seems to be a dome. And a sphere. Let's just check. And that's about a meter, a meter and a half in diameter. We're checking out this anomaly in the center of the screen again. It's about six by six meters straight edges, right angles and then in the center it looks like a rectangular knob or part maybe this is an opening so there's a strange pattern in this uh, object on top check out these and this is a weird one really strange it's about 12 meters or 6 meters and then on top another one of these triangular ports some symmetry in that shape and then uh, on this side, a semicircular part as well. It's rather odd. And uh, this is one of the craft I showed in the previous video, about 12 meters in diameter, partially covered in sand and dust. So check that out, over there to the right. And as always, um, I'm sure I'm missing other anomalies and artifacts. I just don't have enough time to show you all of these. So I do encourage you to download this JP2. It's really worth it. There's so many other anomalies that you, can go, you guys and girls can take a look at. Another one of these, this looks like... Uh, megalithic ruins I'm showing you similar shaped artifacts and uh, this thing's huge let's just check that's about 15 meters across but a rounded edge to it it also be, seems to be stepped this side yeah carved in a bit that's the other craft that I showed you in the previous video about six meters in diameter with what looks like 
a hangar entranceway that's been smashed in. And that there is about, what, 20 meters? So that entrance is possibly about 15 meters. But that would have fit nicely inside there, lots of space to spare. So let's quickly check out this area in Google Earth Mars. And this is a Quite a cool discovery They're located over here in this area. There's some of those that I showed you and the two craft. And I'm going to be looking at more of these high rise photographs. There's a lot of anomalies in this one as well. So it makes this high rise photograph quite cool. So if you look at the South Pole and uh, this white line. This is where I've discovered similar anomalies and then there was this gap over here in this piece and I discovered um, this photograph so it looks as if on this latitude line you find lots of these similar anomalies let's just take this for example check out those blocks This one here, for example, that looks like uh, one of those craft featured in the History Channel, Georgia's favorite artifact. Now oh, let's just quickly check out another one or two. So you guys can see there's uh, definitely something going on or something did go on on the Martian surface and I found a lot more of these in the southern hemisphere than on the northern hemisphere so if you look at uh, speculation there were atomic explosions in the northern hemisphere as well as the exploded planet theory that suggests the side of Mars was devastated and it's at a slightly lower elevation than the southern hemisphere so possibly why I'm finding more anomalies here at the southern hemisphere rather interesting so with that said I think I've uh, completed the video thanks for watching i know this was long i'll return soon with more anomalies please stay tuned bye bye for now